All right, so let's get back to this. Katniss sees her little sister. She's walking up to the podium, and she's been chosen for the reaping. It's a very scary, scary moment, both for Prim as well as for Katniss. So what um, what would you say is Katniss's reaction in seeing that? So A, Katniss is upset that Prim has walked past her without any acknowledgement of her older sister, so kind of ignoring her and giving her the cold shoulder. B, Seeing the untucked blouse looking like a ducktail reminds Katniss that she must protect Prim. C. Watching how terrified Prim is has forced Katniss to accept that she is likely to lose her younger sister to the Hunger Games. Or D. Katniss is jealous that Prim was selected for the Hunger Games and decides that she is going to do what she has to in order to grab the spotlight. So with this one, again, there's really two choices that could be a possibility. But I want you to think about this. If you were an older sibling and you saw your sister going up there, what would you want to do in that situation? All right, number five. Which of the following inferences about Katniss is best supported by the text? This time you're focusing on Katniss, especially um, about um, her character especially. And you really want to pay attention to how she feels about the capital um, as well as where she lives. Um, it's important to note that there are definitely some um, descriptions here that she is the narrator and it seems as if she definitely feels a certain way about what's going on. So which of these would best show that? A. She has no affection or loyalty toward District 12. B. She would like to see another rebellion organized like the one in the dark days. C. She has been through the reaping so many times that she no longer fears being picked. Or D, she is cynical of the capital and the way they rule over people in the districts. Again, there's kind of two here that you could definitely choose from that I think would make sense. But I want you to remember, this is the very beginning of the book. Um, really pay attention to some of the details here because it doesn't talk about one of them um, in terms of, you know, how she feels about the capital and the reaping itself. So pay attention to certain keywords that would help you with this one. Number six, which sentence from the text most strongly supports the answer to question five? Based on what you put for number five, and I will tell you right now, I would probably pick either B or D. So there you go, guys. I'm giving you a little help with this one. Um, really think, though, which of those actually makes the most sense, considering that it is the beginning of the story. Um, think back to even the movie and how that started out. So based on if you picked B or D, which of these most strongly supports your answer? A, taking the kids from our districts, forcing them to kill one another while we watch. This is the capital's way of reminding us how totally we are at their mercy. B, the crowd draws in a collective breath and then you can hear a pin drop. And I'm feeling nauseous and so desperately hoping that it's not me, that it's not me, that it's not me. C, the square surrounded by shops and on public market days, especially if there's good weather, it has a holiday feel to it. Or D, I protect Prim in every way I can, but I'm powerless against the reaping. So again, if you picked B, she would like to see another rebellion organized like the one in the dark days. Well, which of those shows that? Which of those would show that she wants the people in the districts to rise up against the capital? If you pick D, she is cynical. And cynical kind of means she really dislikes and doesn't trust the capital. Um, so which of these shows that? Which of these shows that she really doesn't trust them? She feels as if they are controlling her and everyone else in the districts. Um, and that she really dislikes how they are treating them. So. Again, make sure you're paying attention with this one, especially because this one goes specifically with number five. I'm going to be moving on in the next video, guys.